guys, it's DarkFox127 and welcome to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. Today we're going to be working with a custom cloud chest, which is basically a chest in a single location which we're going to be able to access from anywhere in the world. So essentially what it will be is you'll walk up to a chest in your player home and you access that chest, uh, you place items in that chest and then you'll be able to go somewhere else to another chest and access the same set of items. So that's what a cloud chest is. Someone dropped that in an email to me asking how it's done and I figured that makes a really good tutorial so that's a really good idea. So let's get started. Uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is create a new cell which I've already gone ahead and done here. So as you can see I've made a small cell which has a nice chest in the middle there and that is the chest which is going to store all of our items and we're going to access that from all sorts of different locations. So if you don't know how to make a cell and you want to know in detail uh, go watch my cell creation tutorial I'll leave a link in the description uh, but just quickly you go into obviously world there as I have cells alternate click and new and then just set yourself a nice little cell up uh, I've placed a COC marker in the chest as well as some nice walls so that I can uh, hop in and test things out if I need to so anyway once you've done that you're going to go ahead and place down your chests or more specifically your activators to gain access to this chest from different locations so what I'm going to do I'm going to go to if I can type today white run breeze home probably going to get about three errors here two three there we go uh, no this kit a bit too well so if you get any errors just yes to all or ignore whatever they are they're usually just a, a Skyrim issue nothing for you to worry about tap A let's get the lighting shown as you can see I already went ahead and did this so I'm just going to uh, delete this and start from scratch so uh, you might want to put these in a different location I'm personally just going to use the Breeze Home and Proud Spy Manor within Solitude I'm going to have those two chests access my main chest so what I've already gone ahead and done I've created a static version of the chest because it's not going to be the chest itself which you actually activate it's going to be the activator we place around it the activator is what does the work not a usual container chest that you'd use down here none of these uh, it's going to work a, a bit of a strange way anyone who's watched my custom container tutorial will actually sort of get the hang of where this is going and probably you'd be able to figure it out yourself from that so I've already gone ahead as I said I've made a static chest there DF127 cloud chest if you want to know how to make a item a static version just edit that items base copy the model there control and C we can actually alternate click and copy either way works and then you just go under static alternate click and new make sure you go edit there edit there make sure you under the message meshes section of your data folder and then you paste into that file name and you open up from there and you'll get a static version of the item that's just quickly how to do that so I made a static version of my chest so this is what uh, it looks like we're accessing but we're actually not and just gonna place this down here then I am going to click on my static chest make sure you've got it activated I'm gonna click the little box with the T in it there and then I'm going to well I'll create a new one I've already made one so I'll just show you how you create one so we'd create a brand new activator um, we'll just call it blah for now I'm not going to save this anyway because I've already got one so give it a unique idea as I have and then you want to put a name in here the name is what's going to show on the prompt when you go up to the activator or it'll look like you're activating the chest so we'll just put cloud chest you can put whatever you want now if you went up to that it'd say activate chest and you want it to say open because it'll be more like opening the chest rather than activating it so the activate text override down here is how you do that so you type open in there or you can put slap if you want you can put anything you want in there so it's a slap chest whatever that says it'll put before cloud chest so we'd leave it as open and you're going to want to add one papyrus script now don't worry we don't have to make one it's not confusing at all just click add yes to alter any errors you receive let that load up and we're going to search dummy in the filter and you should get three or more scripts here and you want activate link chest dummy script double click on that you don't have to set any properties there's none to it and then you go ahead click OK and you'd have a trigger around your box now I'm just going to cancel that and I'm actually going to 
remove that. I'm just going to put my own trigger on that I've already made. So I'm going to put my activated cloud chest, essentially the same thing. So once yours appears, you want to double click on that trigger, make sure you've got that trigger selected. You can give it a unique ID if you want, DF127 white run trigger cloud I suppose, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to copy that, I'll probably use that. And once you've clicked on your trigger, you've given it a unique ID. If you go under 3D data, you want to make sure that the X, Y and Z axes are not all set to zero. So if they were all set to zeros, they'd look something like that there. It'd be like all zeros. Now, if they're like that, you get a glitch where the prompt doesn't show. And it has some really weird uh, sort of setup. It just glitches and you need to offset one of these or all of these axes. So by offset, if they're all on zeros, just make sure that one of them's got a one on the end or it's way off like there, 90 minus 90. As long as they're not all zeros, it'll work. Uh, so click under primary next, click player activation. If you don't do that again, the prompt won't show. And then we want to go along to linked reference. Now the linked reference is going to be the chest in the cell that we created at the start of the tutorial. So alternate click and new. This is going to save you from uh, loading the cell and then clicking select reference in window although you can do that if you wish but I'm just going to go under cell and I'm going to start typing DF127 so this would be the name of your cell mine is DF127 cloud chest so click on that go under player ref and as you can see all the items in that cell appear and I just want my cloud chest 01 that's the chest that all my items will be stored in we don't need a keyword click OK and we'll just go along to script make sure that the script's been pushed across yep and that's it, uh, click OK. That chest now uh, will link straight to the chest in our cell, meaning you can also go ahead and make another one of these, put it in solitude. I might as well just go ahead and do that now and show you how that works. So I'm going to make a copy of that. I'm going to go to Solitude Proud Spy Manor. Any errors again, just click yes. Two to get the gizmos off. As you can see, I've actually already placed one down here. Now, one thing to note is once you copy and paste, it won't have the link reference on it. Uh, so the one thing that you will have to do is, again, check the 3D data, make sure it's offset slightly. There you can see it was all zeros and I had to put a one on the end, and make sure that the player activation is ticked. And the main thing that won't copy over is the link. So you'll have to relink reference that activated. So you'd have to do that for each one you put down. And that is it. I'm going to go in game now and we're going to see how nice cloud chest working. I'll be able to place a sword in that chest. I'll be able to go to my other home, Bree's home, and I'll be able to access that same sword from there. And that is how a cloud chest is created. So let's hop in game and see how that works. Okay, so here we are. As you can see, our cloud chest here in the Bree's home. I haven't actually done the Bree's home, but I've just cheated to get in here. But the chest here it says open the chest. And if we just go and dump. Let's dump some gold in here, we'll dump 35 gold in, and we'll access that same gold from the Solitude place, so if we just go COC, Solitude, Crown, Spire, Runner, there we go, and we'll be able to access that gold from there. So it's keeping the same inventory accessible from multiple locations, and there's our 35 gold. So if we were to actually go into my test cell, if my controller doesn't fall on the floor, uh, it's not test cell, I can't even uh, know what I've called it, there we go, it should be DF127 cloud chest, <coughs> excuse me, and if we go there, as you can see, this is our cloud chest, this is where the items are actually going, and our 35 golds in there. So that is how you create a, put that torch away, that's how you create a cloud chest, uh, you can probably mess around, uh, do your own script idea, and you could probably expand on that yourselves, or just uh, use it how you want to use it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and quite interesting. I thought it was a good one. Uh, so that's it. Please check out my anti-social websites and my main websites. All the usual. Thank you very much for watching and I'll speak to you next time.